Cash for crash scam is where somebody causes a road traffic collision. Normally an organised gang. It's a huge problem because every one of these claims contribute to premium inflation which has to go to paying customers. It's costing about an extra £50 on everybody's premium to cover the costs of frauds currently today. It is a national problem. There are some hotspots around the country but it could happen anywhere. I think by and large the public are unaware of the impact of organised crime generally. It might seem quite small but in fact they're contributing sometimes to an organised crime network that has far wider implications to drug trafficking, human trafficking. It's really very serious stuff. We estimate that there's approximately £400 million worth of fraud is being committed at any one point in time. Of the personal injury claims that we see in the market today, one in seven can fall into one of the categories of, of fraud or scamming. The type of people that these gangs prey on are generally vulnerable road users. So they will, they will look for lone females, lone males, people with children in the car. They'll look for relatively nice cars, private number plates. What they're trying to pick is they're trying to pick someone who's insured. One of the worst things that can happen to these gangs is to get someone who's not insured. Up until now, there hasn't been a unit specifically there to deal with insurance scams such as these. The industry is now very hot on the tails of these fraudsters with the groundbreaking technology that we have. We've already made over 200 arrests since January. A simple message to people involved in insurance fraud is don't do it, you run the risk of a criminal prosecution, a criminal record and a prison sentence and we will catch you. At the roadside you need to get your evidence. My advice would be take photographs of damage to your car, take photographs of the damage to the other car because if the damage isn't quite enough then more damage will be caused and of course you've got no way of proving that you caused that damage or not. Get all the names and addresses. You've got no legal right to ask for the passengers names and addresses but if you can get them that's great. If you can take photographs without placing yourself at risk that would be fantastic. These sort of things might just save your no claims bonus. The effect they'll have is actually really serious on some people. Obviously, something they should be done about it. Personally, think they should be hit with a big hefty fine or get a prison sentence. If you know somebody that might be involved in a scam or, or in fraudulent behaviour, or if you suspect somebody, uh, we urge you to be one of the 9,000 people that actually calls us last year on our cheat line. The number is 0800 422 0421.